How do those that show you no respect behave? How do they behave? They're always what? They're never there with you. They're always sitting above you. They're always sitting greater than you. They always think that you have to do this or that or that or this for them. And where's the respect they show? Do they show any? When one shows you no respect, what do you feel? Do you feel anger? Do you feel mad? It creates a very hostile environment when there's lots of disrespect. Whenever there's disrespect, there's a hostile environment. They create that hostile environment. They create that hostile environment for no reason more than they want, want, want everything to be a certain way. They want everything to be aligned to what they seek, what they desire, and what they want, without respect to what you might want yourself, which creates an environment not, not only a hostile, but an environment of law. Without respect, there is nothing but law. Without respect, there is nothing. Because without respect, what are you creating? You're creating nothing but law. You know, either, either you're not being honest with them, or you're not being, or you're being prideful, or you're being sinful. You're being oh, to the point where you know you're not recognizing that another person exists and they have choices of their own. That's not res that's not respecting the choice. What happens when you disrespect choice? So we lose out on what that person might have chosen to create. Instead, you just got another person creating what you want, want created. And what is possible, then, is that nothing is possible. We've just lost another great mind to the, wor to, to the world because you didn't want to show them respect. You break down people's confidences, you knock them down, you try and put them down. That's what those of disrespect do. They're not honest about what they're saying, they're not honest about what they're doing, they're just full of personal attacks and address you in personal attacks. They don't care about anything but making sure what they want happens. They've shown you utmost disrespect and they don't even care. It's as though you don't even matter and you don't even exist. And how do you handle such a situation? How do you handle such a situation? Think about it. If someone's showing you the utmost in disrespect, how do you come back? How do you go forward? when you, there's nothing left for you to go forward in. How do you go forward with an organization that's shown you disrespect? Or a person that's shown you disrespect? You don't. Because they just want to keep on putting you down. And they just want you to do what they want you to do. There's no freedom of, to express who you are or what you want to do. You go nowhere. They might go somewhere on the disrespect. But really, they've weakened themselves. And how have they weakened themselves? Because no longer do they have team members, they have servants. No longer do they have people working with them, they have people working for them. And no longer do the people want to be there, they don't want to be in that environment, so they're not doing the best job they could do. All because someone showed them disrespect. All because a, an organization or a person doesn't show respect, a whole, a whole environment suffers. You show disrespect to Mother Nature, she stops growing. You disrespect anything else, and it stops working. Man, man will, will, will take a lot of disrespect, but pretty soon everything goes to hell. Everything falls apart. They get back at you, and there's revenge thinking, and there's ideas of, of making sure they pay for it. I mean, there's so much that disrespect creates that you just do not want. An environment that is not beneficial to you in the slightest. It's a horrible environment to be a part of and to create. Because when you create that environment, then you're stuck. You create that environment, and now they're not going to respect you. If they're not going to respect you, then you have to still get the thing done. You still want to get this done. And you're putting yourself out there in attacks and trying to force people to do what you want, which creates even greater loss for you in time and in resources. Well, if you were showing them respect from the beginning then you would have understood their position, you understood the everything, and then you wouldn't have had to waste that time. You wouldn't have had to waste those resources. You wouldn't have had to waste all that influence. But instead, you showed them disrespect, and now you're stuck wasting time, wasting resources on something that just isn't going to function the way you want. Well, you could have found another that would function just fine for you. You would have done a f fabulous job but you weren't open to what they were and what they were about at the beginning, and you didn't want to understand them, you just wanted them to do and be what you wanted, and now you're wasting everything away on trying to make them form into what you need. 
while another would have been more than adequate to fill the position and do the job, but you didn't search out another. You just wanted that one. You just wanted this one, and you didn't even look to understand what their position was or what they were about, and you disrespected yourself, thinking that that was only a solution. While another solution could have performed itself, another individual could have performed the job and done a great job at it, and you would have accomplished your goal. But instead, you show disrespect and didn't grow an understanding of others and what it is they're about, and try to form everything into that specific job title, or that specific role in life, and now you've wasted all these resources and all this time on something that's never going to bear fruit. Or if it does bear fruit, it's going to be not even done close to the potential that it could have been accomplished by an individual who had his heart and wanted to share in your cause. Because you didn't show understanding and want, or want to know who they were, you got yourself into a whole bunch of mess with very little to gain. So what does respect do for you? What does it help you in life achieve? What you want in life? And when you don't show it, when you show just disrespect, are you going to accomplish what you want? Or are you just going to have more trouble than you need right now than in a half-assed job, if anything? And nothing adequate to what you need. Nothing to perform the way you want it. All because you showed disrespect and didn't gather an understanding of the individual. Because you just wanted everything to fit into a role, or you wanted that one to fit into that role. But it wasn't even a part they were willing to play. Yet you wanted them to anyways, and who knows how they answered you. Maybe with a half-assed job, or maybe not at all, or maybe they told you no. And if you're still wasting resources on a no, then you're just wasting resources. People don't change their minds that easily, and they never have the passion. It's up to you. You can treat the world with respect and be rewarded for it, or you can treat the world with disrespect and have all your resource wasted. It's up to you. The choice is yours. Thank you for your time, Christopher David Clayton of the United Unified Belief.